Hello everyone. Today's question of the day is based upon linear equation and maxima minima. We'll see how to maximize a particular variable involved in a linear equation. The question is a test consists of 120 questions. Each correct answer, each wrong answer and each unanswered question in the test carried one mark, minus half mark and minus one by four mark respectively. Find the maximum number of questions that the candidate could have answered wrongly in the test if he scored 50 marks in it. So we know that there are total 120 questions in the test and these questions can be correct, incorrect or unanswered. So let me assume that there are C questions for which answers were correct. There were W questions for which answers were wrong and there were U questions which were unanswered. So total number of the question are equal to 120. So we'll add correct, wrong and unanswered. These will be equal to 120. This will be the first equation. This is regarding the number of questions. Now we were told that each correct answer, each wrong answer, each unanswered question in the test carried one mark, minus half mark and minus one by four mark respectively. And then we were also given that in the test, the candidate scored 50 marks. So if the candidate is answering C questions correctly for all those correct answers, he will get one mark. So one into C. Then if W was the number of wrong answered questions, then for each wrong answer minus half will be deducted. So this will be multiplied by minus half. Similarly, for each unanswered questions, he is getting minus one by four. So all the unanswered questions U for all of them, there'll be minus one by four. And the total of all the marks that he is getting, this will be the total. This is equal to 50. This is the set, second equation that we get. If we simplify it further, we can write it as 4C minus 2W minus U equals to 200. I just took the LCM and cross multiplied. So this will be the equation number two. Let me remove this one. So these are the only two equations that we can form. If I add these two equations now, then I'll be getting 5C minus W plus U minus U will get cancelled if we add them. So this will be equal to the sum of RHS will be 320. So this is the final equation that we get. Now what we need to do is we have to maximize the value of W since we have to maximize the number of questions that the candidate would have answered wrongly. Now the minimum value that w can take it will be zero that means zero wrong answers so if i put w equal to zero i'll be getting 5c equals to 320 which gives me c equal to 64. now we can further increase the value of w so if we put w equal to one over here we'll see that in the rhs it would become 321 so we'll be getting 5c equal to 321 but in that case c will get a decimal value it will be something in points which is not possible because number of correct answers will always be an integer positive integer. So that means W cannot have value one. Let us check for W equal to two. If we put W equal to two, I'll be getting five C equal to 322. Again, in this case, the value of C will be decimal, which is not possible. So W cannot have value two. If we put W equals to three, again, value of C will be decimal. This won't be possible. If we put W equal to four, again, the value of C would be in decimals, which is not possible. If we put W equals to five, we'll be getting five C equals to 325, which will give us C equal to 65. So now we can see that the value of W has become five from zero, which is greater. And we are working upon the same. We are maximizing the value of W. So we can say one thing that the value of W will always be a multiple of five over here. Then only we'll be getting an integer value for C. So the next value that we'll take up for W, it will be 10. In that case, C will have value 66. I hope this is understood. If we put W equal to 15, because we have to take value of W only in multiples of five, then only we are getting integer value for C. So if W is equal to 15, C will be equal to 67. Then if W is equal to 20, then we'll be getting C equal to 68. Then again, if W is equal to 25, we'll be getting C equal to 69. Now there is one more thing that we should take into consideration. Since we have only this equation, in this equation, 
u is not involved so that means all the question that were answered they will either be correct or wrong so correct or wrong answers in total their value should be 120 i hope this is clear because all the answers can either be correct or wrong so they should not exceed 120 because there are only 120 questions in the test now let us come back to the values of w and c we'll increase the value of w to 30 in that case we'll be getting c equal to 70 then if i put w equals to 35 i'll be getting c equal to 71 similarly if i put 40 i'll be getting c equal to 72 if i put w equal to 45 i'll be getting c equal to 73 then now we can see that the sum of value of c and w it is 73 plus 45 which is 118 if i put w equals to 50 i'll be getting c equal to 74 now we can see that the sum of c and w it is 124 which is greater than 120 124 means that the number of questions in the exam becomes greater than 120 which is not possible so we'll stop over here so the maximum value that w can attain it will be 45 so we can say that the maximum number of wrong questions it will be equal to 45 option b will be the correct answer here i hope this is understood there were multiple conditions involved if there is any doubt please comment